first thing we're going to do is enter a second degree equation. So in the input bar at the bottom, I'm going to enter f of x equals x squared. As soon as I enter that, I get the graph of a parabola. I'm going to now create a slider, so I go across and get the slider tool. Click in here, let the variable name A, and I'm going to change the minimum 3 uh, to negative 3 to positive 3 for the max, and I'm going to increment by 0.5. I say apply. I'm going back to the arrow tool. I want to make sure this is off to the side because on the right side is where the spreadsheet window is going to show up. And I'm also going to drag this slider all the way back to negative 3. I'm going to select move the drawing pad tool. And I'm going to just bring the drawing pad down because I know the maximum uh, y value when a is uh, positive 3 and the function will give me an output y value of 9 and the minimum would give me a 0. So I need to have that part visible on my graph. I'm now going to plot a point on the function and to plot that point I'm going down to the input bar. I'm going to label it uh, P so I'm going to start with a capital P colon and then I'm going to have a parentheses and I'm going to plot A little a, lowercase a, comma, f of a. And that creates my point p on my function. I'm now going to open the uh, spreadsheet window by going view, spreadsheet view. And I want to make sure I have at least four columns visible. If not, you can drag this a bit uh, over to get that fourth column visible. I'm going over to the arrow tool. Now that my spreadsheet's open, I have a record to spreadsheet, which I select. It tells me to select an object to trace, then change the construction. The object I want to trace is the point P. So in the algebra window, I'm going down to the P and selecting it. And now what I'm going to do is move the slider slowly to the right and you see we will be filling in the chart. Okay, good. I'm now going to click on the move drawing pad tool and then click somewhere in there. This turns off the uh, trace of the values. So I have my x, I have my uh, y in columns a and b respectively. So I'm going to column c and I'm going to calculate the difference in the y values. Uh, so I'm going to go down one cell and so I'm going to use the formula equals. I'm going back in column b and I'm selecting the first y value and I'm subtracting the second y value in that column. Now this procedure that we're using only works when the uh, increment in the x values in your table is con constant. And we have a constant change in our x values of 0.5. I'm going back to that cell in column C, going back to the bottom right, grabbing the little square and dragging that down. And these, of course, are not the exact same value. So it's not a first degree equation. Going to column D, I'm going to the, create the second difference. So I'm going down one additional cell. I'm going to go equals. I'm going to select the first value in column C and subtract the second value in column C. And I'm going to reselect that cell drag the bottom corner down and since that is a constant value of 0.5 the fact that it's a constant value is an indication that it is coming from a second degree uh, equation.